You're welcome back. Now, for four decades, our next guests have cemented themselves as one of Ireland's most loved folk groups, as well as scoring top 20 hits in the UK with their versions of classics, When You Were Sweet 16 and The Green Fields of France. You can't just say, they have to sing When You Were Sweet 16. Oh, you can't just work say away. You, you got it taken away there, Still Sandy. touring and recording today. <laughs> We're delighted that the Furies, Eddie and George, have joined us in the studio. First, here's a look at the lads in action with one of their best-known hits. You know what, lads? First of all, good morning. It's lovely morning. to see you. Good morning. Good morning, uh, Sam. Good morning, Anna. Reading, reading through your notes, you've worked with some of the greats. You've worked with them all. Dylan, you've met Pete Seeger, all, all of them. And now you tell us that our very own ukulele maestro, <laughs> oh, yes. Tony, shot that video. He shot. He was, yeah, he was involved in that video. Mm. There is no beginnings to that man's talent. Sure he, he's one of our heroes, he is. I, you know, ah, I, 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 no, I see him this morning <laughs> playing the ukulele. Oh, he's playing the ukulele. And he's looking for lessons. Yeah, well, he's no better man. And he's very reasonable, too. <laughs> we'll, leave him all, yeah, we'll leave him off for a few days. He wouldn't charge you full <laughs> price. Yeah. Here, for, um, 40 years, lads. Mm. Yeah. 40 years on the go and still going strong. Incredible. You've got a full tour ahead of you now, Ireland. Yeah. Starting today, four o'clock, you're in town. Yeah, we're in the Trad Fest, uh, yeah, and the, and, um, Store the house, yeah. Storehouse today. Yeah. And uh, then we're back walking uh, down to Cork next weekend. But we're heading over to the UK. We've got 52 concerts Holy moly. up to the end of May. So, uh, no, it's yeah. good. So you're keeping well, we're going to take busy. a break in between, you see. Mm. Yeah. Come home, because you have to come home to get the underwear washed and the back out again. <laughs> well, you know? yeah, wash everything you know, and come back, yeah, so back again. To, we're coming back from Vicar Street as well, you know. We have to come back for yeah, that. Well, that's a big gig, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. But looking back on your career, mm. lads, it's it's just ridiculously impressive. We were chatting about all the, the songs, the, but the names and the audiences that you've played for, prime ministers, um, presidents, and so many famous people. I mean, what for you, George, is, is the highlight? Well, I think, you know, it's uh, not over uh, yet. Well, and I remember back to 1979, I was playing for the Pope down at Drogheda. I, so I that was, was Pope I, John I, Paul. Yeah, yeah, it was great, you know. And uh, I, I was posted to play with the boys. We'd done the Lonesome Boatman for the, for the Pope, you know. Yeah. And then well, there was one song we weren't supposed to do, and poor old Jim McCann, rest yeah, in peace. God bless him. Mm. Jim was supposed to do uh, Lord of the Dance, and he couldn't make it because he had to go from where we were at the Pope he was playing in the embankment that night. Yes, yeah. So and uh, so and we done it. Yeah, the traffic was really bad. You yeah. see, he left. He got panicky. He left very early to get make, make, and the big uh, yeah. things. Well, we got back before him with the van. <laughs> <laughs> he had great. he, he had great. the most incredible voice. Ah, in yeah. Yeah. great singer. Yeah. Great solo artist. Beautiful. But, you know, singer. I, I like meeting like people. I know we met Prime Minister and all, but you know you can't beat the home crowd. And you know yeah. your own your the own real gang. fans. And yeah. you know all the lads. You know that we know over the years. Isn't it, isn't it great yeah. to see though, lads? I was saying to you before we came on air. I was I was in around town during the week and mm. working up around Warebrook Street. It's great to see venues like the Storehouse and like that old oh, yeah. church of Warebrook Street Lincoln's being, all, yeah. being used yeah. like as part of the Trad Fest because oh, they're great. amazing venues. Yeah. They've done, they done a great job there organising that. You know, it's a fantastic um, festival. You know, it's all, it's all the great artists you have in it. Yeah. Oh, I remember, I remember all, the old you know, church, yeah. Yeah, I remember fantastic. the old church when I used to be on the hop from school. I used to go to Wayfair <laughs> Way Street, you know Wayfair Street. I can't believe White you ever met me. I did. I did. Yeah. He's a very studious few man. Few days here and there. I went there as myself. We used to call it the Red Brick Slaughterhouse. It's really <laughs> a joyful place to be yeah. all together. The minute you walked in, when the, when the, the other kids asked you where you're from, you know, and you thought them Bally Fairman at the time, you know, yeah. they gave you gave you a dig in the dig in the ear, make sure. Yeah, yeah. Put you, put you in, in, in the yeah, right yeah. way, you know? <laughs> Great you are. Tell, us, tell us the story, lads, cause about the band being formed, because it was literally formed by accident. There was a car crash or something that I read. Yeah, we so were... There were two bands yeah, travelling across. Myself, tell us that story, uh, uh, Myself and my late, uh, my late brother Paul. Paul, yeah. Uh, and Davey. Yeah. It was, uh, we had a band called The Buskers. Mm. Right. And uh, we were doing a tour of the jazz clubs in Germany. Yeah. And it was great for us because... We wanted the first bands to kind of do that at, in the jazz yeah. clubs. Yeah. The, the lads used to work at the big universities and all that in the theatres. Oh, you would have been yeah. bored at the time. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. So we were screen. coming down to uh, <laughs> Frankfurt one day, yeah. and I hopped me in the back of the car, and I was counting the few bobs, 
from from the CDs we are we're not to say the the, the old the albums records, yeah. that we sent. Yeah. And some guy crashed into the back of us. Right. And I flew from the back seat into the front and hit me head off the windscreen. I wasn't wearing the seatbelt at the moment. Good luck. <laughs> you know, and uh, of course everyone said that someone one of the boys were in hospital. They weren't in hospital, it was okay, but the guy the Eddie and Finn, they were up in uh, up in Denmark at the time and they uh, came down. Oh, he came and, down, yeah. yeah. Oh, he came down, yeah. <laughs> and uh, after yeah. that, we decided just to put the band together. So basically, you yeah. wanted to just join together so you could save money on petrol, just use one car. Yeah, <laughs> I think we're all going to know stories at the time. No, the, no, the, the, the idea was we could not even get the band together because, you know, there was two of us playing here and three yes. was playing over there. And, so we all go together. Yeah, and then when yeah. we, we, we done a, an Irish festival in Germany, I mean, all the, all the gang was together, including my father and Bobby yeah. Classy and all that, you know. And a great crack, and everyone can get up on stage to, at the end of the night and have a jam session. Yeah. And yeah. that was a great thing. We could all, then we were all together playing, you see, with my father and all. And that was great. So uh, we, we decided to get, uh, get the band together. You know? I love the story about your dad, actually. I think it was, I think it was you, George, said about your dad that when you were growing up, he said to you, Listen, lads, when you get old enough, I'm not going to be able to afford to send you to college. <laughs> so it's either the music. Or the shovel or the pick. That's oh, so it. He said it to him, didn't he? Yeah, he always said it. Yeah. yeah. And you said, right, it's the music. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I remember. But you were surrounded I, by it as kids. Yeah. Music still, and instruments. We still, in the still, house. We, we still do, done the pick and shovel as well on the, on the building side. Yeah, so yeah. you know, across I, the wall. I, yeah. yeah. I, I played with the father. I'd say for, for a long time after, you know, and uh, before I joined the band, <laughs> and we were playing in Brittany. Uh, we went on a tour of Brittany, and we were doing this show one night uh, in this big hall, and we're playing away, and my father was playing the fiddle, and I was playing the guitar behind him, and the whole floor caved in and all the people fell about six feet and there was Get nothing but out. dust. Of course, I broke my uh, right. so he's laughing. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> the elf nearly killed me. There's of nothing course. happened now. There was just no, everyone, no, you know, no, we had no. loads of drink and all on them. Oh, it's one of, like one of these Irish parties. <laughs> <laughs> the floor collapsed. <laughs> the tears coming down yeah. the eyes. And you're and you're nearly, nearly, nearly had to put me in a straitjacket. I was not laughing that <laughs> much. Of them. Did, you, did you ever think, even, even back in the times when you were touring Europe in the, in the late 70s, that you'd still be doing it, and it would have been so successful with, you know, yeah. number ones in Ireland, yeah. Sweet well, Sixteen chart in, we, the, in the UK. We love doing it. It's we family with yeah. us, and you know, an awful lot of bands say they don't. You know, they're on the road forty years and fifty years and all that. Yeah. But they don't tell the people they took a break for ten years and they went five yes. years here. Yeah, yeah. But we've been at it all the time, and we love yeah, doing you it. You stopped. never stop. Yeah, we we love doing it. We have a shot. Well, yeah. we're seeing Eddie and George uh, a shot of, of the two of you on screen yeah. at the moment. Yeah. Yeah. What about yourself, Eddie and uh, Billy Connolly? Oh, oh yeah. roommates. Oh, Billy, Billy's always got. I met, actually, I got a phone call from Billy there last year on 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 the night before Valentine's night. He yeah. he's gonna have a bit of a do in, in Dublin. He had a night off before he played in the Tree Arena. That's right. Yeah. And he said, "What are you doing tomorrow night?" I said, "Well, what's happening?" He said, "I have a bit of a soiree." He says in yeah. Dublin. He said one of the restaurants, getting a few few friends there. And he said, "And uh, couldn't leave you." He said, and he said, "I said, uh, well." I, you know, I can't make it. I got to have to take her out. I said, "I'm one of you know." <laughs> and I can't, I can't see, I, I can't see you. I have to take her. I can't see you bring a, me, bring me <laughs> wife all the way down for a party where all the lads are there. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I said, I'll come down and see you on on on, uh, on tours. You know, I'll bring a couple of my sons with me. You know, I've got a fellow who plays four string banjo and a four string banjo. Yeah, and yeah. Meet us on party. You know, and went down with a great track. And we thought about old times when we got backstage. You know, mm -hmm. but thought about, and we thought about the old first time we ever met. Really, you know. Because you room, yeah. you went over you to shared. Scotland and you shared a room with himself. Well, it happened. To, when the story happened, to, I was, I was, I was walking up um, Socky Hall Street oh, in the Glasgow. Very famous Socky Hall yeah. Street. You might walk yeah. up, but you, you'll, you'll, you'll fall down it. Yeah. There the, the, the were pubs there, but it's, it's uh, all changed <laughs> now. Goes, yeah. But uh, and uh, uh, there was two guys walking in front of me. I tell the story on stage. One for the kind of banjo, the other kind of guitar. When he walked in the pub, I walked in after him, usually, you know. And I was sitting at the bar with the barman having a drink and looking over them. Because I've seen, you know, seen the instruments, you know. Yeah, yeah. Mm. And I had the old guitar with me, and uh, I didn't want to overtalk them, you know. And they, they introduced themselves, you know. And I know the barman said the first, I said, Who are these two guys over there? I said to the barman, he said, The big man there with the long hair and the beard, that's Billy Connolly, he says. And he, he's piled down with, with the guitar, he said, That's Jerry Rafferty, you know. <laughs> and I went over talking to the boys, and, and Billy said to me, Are you just over? He knew who it was, you know. Yeah. I said, I am. I said, ha he said, Have you anywhere to stay tonight? I said, No, I don't. He said, He can stay with us. And I did for a year and a half. <laughs> and the friendship is still there? And we still grew yeah. and you just, you just pointed out to me two sons there in and, and, and the three arena. And, you know, we're all backstage. And he said, you know, he says, I know your father, he says, me and your father have been pals, he says, for 50 odd years, he says. Isn't that incredible? It's incredible. And then he, said, he said, then he said to me before he left, he said, it's a, a, a quite kind of a queer thing to me, what he said about, you know, what he says, 
when we had nothing, we had better times. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Well, listen, well, you're heading into uh, Temple Bar this yeah, afternoon, yeah, yeah, yeah. and the tour yeah. continues right around the country for the month of February. Yeah. Then you take a month off, and uh, the UK. April. Yeah. And bigger yeah. Back at us. Before we, uh, yeah. But before we finish with the interview, I'd like to ask, uh, to say um, a happy birthday, 70th birthday to Bally Fairmouth. They're celebrating the 70th Very good. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Yeah, and uh, for Ken Larkin, who's running the whole lot down there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, it should be a great night down, a ba and down in Ballier. Down, down in Ballier. Yeah. Yeah. Happy Last birthday, Ballier. success and thanks for coming Thanks very much for having us. Thanks, guys.